All right guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done an electrical video, but this one has been asked numerous times. I'm gonna try not to make any long story line with this. I'm just gonna try to make this very short and simple. It may be a little bit longer than what you expect, but regardless, here we go. All right, <clears throat> so as you saw from the thumbnail, there is been debate on my channel and amongst other channels that I've seen. Now, the debate is this. What do you do if you pull, let's say you're rewiring your house, and you pull your receptacle out, and let's say you have a, an old two wire, not this new one, because this is a new one, like an old one, it's just got two wires, you pull it out and that's all you have. You don't have a ground on here, you just have a black and a white, and that's all you have. What do you do? Because I've been asked, can I not just put this in and, and walk away? Well, the answer is absolutely not. Now, <clears throat> do people do that? Oh, of course they do. Is it code? Absolutely not. The code is, if you have a two-prong receptacle and all you have is two wires, you have to put these back in, plain and simple. You cannot just say, oh, well, I'll just put these in. People do it all the time, and then they buy those old plug testers, and they're like, I don't even have a ground here. Well, it's because there's no ground, that's why. That is the reason why, because there is no ground. Right here is the problem, there's no ground. So, how do you satisfy the code legally, all right? The way to do that is put this new in here. All right, you've got to get these receptacles, two prongs. They do sell these. Uh, I will leave a link down below where you can get these uh, from Amazon if you like. If you decide to buy anything on my channel through my link, it will only help me make money and make these videos keep coming at you guys. Now listen, does it look stupid? Of course it looks stupid. What is the, there's a, one more alternative that you can do. Now I'm not saying this is the end all be all, all right? And there are other things that you can do. All right, so this is what you can do. You can put a GFI in it, it'll satisfy the code. Is there a ground? Does, will this make a ground? Nope, it will not. But it satisfies the code, gives you that ground plug so you don't have to buy those little adapters. Is that the right thing to do? Per code it is, yes. But if you truly want a ground, you have no choice. You've got to change your wire to put a ground in it, all right? That's just the way it is. You have to rewire your house or rewire the plug now. Uh, when I first started electrical, this is going to be a story, now that I got that out of the way, the important part. If you don't want to watch the rest of this, fine. But this is the true story that you guys need to hear from an electrician that actually I did it. And I wasn't truly an electrician then, I was probably a helper of a year maybe. I went to this guy's house, He same situation, he had all these in there. And the journeyman I was working with, he didn't really know that you could just put these GFIs in and go on. He knew to just pull a ground on, like, so the Romex was already in the, in the wall, like this. Well, what we did is we fished a wire, just a single wire down, and then pulled the wire out of the box, and then we hooked the ground and we put, you know, we did go back and we put these on at that point. Now, there was some other work going on in there, and the inspector was in the house. And he went to those receptacles um, because he saw a wire hanging out, because we were, this guy was redoing a lot of his house. A couple of the walls were open, uh, like halfway. So he asked me if I was planning on uh, pulling new wire or not. And I said, no, we just pulled a wire on the outside of the wall. He was like, wait, wait, what? I said, we just dropped a 12 gauge THHN straight down the wall, pulled it out through the box and we went on. He said, all right, I'm failing you right now. Of course, he wasn't there for electrical, but he was gonna fail the job because we did that. At that point, he said, do you not know the code? I said, well, yeah, I thought you could do that. He said, no, that, it has to be in one cable. So don't just decide to pull a wire down the wall and hook your grounds up and go on and think that you're done because you're not. So always make sure that you do it right. Do it one time. It may take you a little longer, but this is your house. This is, this is what you live in. So you don't want to do anything that's not right. Just do it right every single time and everything will be hunky dory. All right, guys, remember this. Okay, listen. The only way to satisfy the code by not using these is to either pull a new wire or put GFIs in. So there you go. 
Guys, if you like what you see here, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, make sure you check out my Amazon store. Like I said, I have plenty of stuff down there you guys may be interested in uh, for future videos. Definitely make sure you like and subscribe so you won't miss anything upcoming. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a great day.